Welcome to IT How To. In tonight's video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a Ubuntu 22 desktop machine using RDP or Microsoft's remote desktop protocol from both Microsoft Windows and also from Mac OS. So after the intro, I'll get back to you. We are now ready to get started. So from my Mac machine, I've got a remote desktop session open onto my Windows machine, which is running Oracle VirtualBox. I'm going to go back to my Ubuntu 22 desktop, which I installed yesterday when well, I've installed it over this weekend. It's a new installation. So for RDP, what you do, you simply go to the show applications on the bottom left. You go to settings, then you go to sharing here. And I've actually already enabled sharing. So by default, that's, that's disabled. So I'm just going to enable it. You go to remote desktop. You enable remote desktop here. I've enabled remote control so anyone that's logged in remotely can control the screen. At the bottom I've set, set up authentication. So I'm actually using the same username as my OS username but this is actually separate to that. And for the password I've set a password which is different to the password I use for my operating system user account. Once that is done we can close the settings. I'll minimize the VirtualBox console window. Then I'll try and log in via remote desktop. So I've put in the host name for the Ubuntu 22 desktop. Click on connect. I'm going to choose the username. So I will type this in, but I will blur this out while I type it in. Let's try to connect. I'll ignore this certificate error. And we're now logged in. So yeah, this works really well. It's really quick and easy. I remember in the good old days setting up remote desktop sessions to Linux desktops. And yeah, it was a lot more involved. I remember even using XFORD in virus SSH 20 years ago. So that was a lot of fun. But I'm so glad to see how easy this is to set up in the modern era. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go back to my Mac. So I minimized that RDB session window. I'm now on back on Mac OS. I will go to the Microsoft Remote Desktop tool and I'll go to my Ubuntu session, which I've already created. So let me delete that. Yeah, let me delete that and create a new one. Click on plus there, add PC, put in Ubuntu 22 vanilla local. Click on add and we will try and connect to this. I'll put in my username and the same password. So again, this is the remote user, remote user account using that RDP setting, not the OS one. Click on continue and we'll see what happens. Let's try again. Didn't like that. Okay, I think I was too impatient. So it's actually, it said it was trying to connect. Let me try again. And as luck would have it, my previous attempt at creating this video did work, but it's not working here. So let's try that again. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Go back to my PC. Let's log out of that. Could be that. So it's vanilla 20, so it's Ubuntu 22 vanilla.local. Okay, so let's try again. Ubuntu 22 vanilla.local. Okay. Ah, so it only likes one remote session, which is fine. Normally when you connect to a Windows machine, if you have one RDP session open and you can connect another one, it can usually kick you out. But here it didn't let me in um, it, and it is silently failed. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I'm human. I make mistakes. We all do, but it's all part of the 
fun. Um, so that's about it. The reason I'm actually looking into this because I actually do have a Ubuntu 22 machine which is running directly on hardware, um, not as a virtual machine, it's actually a physical installation. Um, it's running headless and I now have a use case to actually set up a desk, use the desktop on that remotely because I will be recording further videos on that machine in, for future videos. And I've just realised this is actually the first video I've actually recorded where I show you how to do something on Mac OS. So I might start recording further videos in future on how to do certain things on Mac OS. Um, anyway, thank you very much for getting to the end of this video. Please click on like if you like this video. If you like the content I produce, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to hit the notification bell should you wish to be notified when I upload further videos in future. And again, thank you very much for your time and I hope you have a nice day and I hope to see you soon.